Qian Xiongwu, who was born in a fishing village in China in 1912, became an important scientist who made world-famous discoveries in physics. Wu's parents noticed her gift for science and encouraged her to get as much education as she could. In 1936, Wu moved to the United States to receive higher education. Despite the difficulties she experienced there, she always went all out to do her work. Today. Many people recognize Wu's contributions to science and refer to her as the first lady of physics. Wu experienced gender discrimination during her career. As a woman, she was a minority in the science field, which meant she did not have as many opportunities as men. In 1956, Wu did experiments that helped two Chinese male scientists prove their interactions among all physical forces are not always symmetrical. The three scientists' efforts changed how physicists understand the world around us. Nevertheless, only the two men won the Nobel Prize in 1957, while Wu, who found the evidence, received nothing. Wu did not lose hope and continued to make many other important discoveries that have been widely recognized. By the 1960s and 1970s, the world started to take note of Wu's outstanding work. As a result, she won many important awards for her scientific work, including the Wolf Prize. Which is only given to the greatest scientists and artists for their accomplishments. In 1975, Wu became the first woman president of the American Physical Society. Although Wu was seen as a minority in the field of science, her work increased our scientific knowledge, and she became an inspiration for people around the world. She set a good example for other younger female scientists and showed them what they could do if they put their minds to it. She also led people to celebrate one another's achievements. Regardless of their race or gender, Wu never won a Nobel Prize, but her life story will continue to be retold along with those of other leading physicists.